Hey guys, today I've got myself a Losi Baja Ray Mint 400 edition. And today we're going to be unboxing this thing, reviewing it, and uh, seeing how good this thing really is. Losi Baja Ray Mint 400 edition if it looks as good as it does in the box it's gonna be awesome it's got a solid rear axle with independent front suspension and it's kind of set up like the udr or its big brother the super baja ray it's meant to be a super realistic scale uh trophy truck it's packing the spectrum 3800 kv brushless 3s motor and the 130 amp brushless speed controller which can take 4s so you know might truck 4s in it so for the mid 400 edition it actually comes with a 5000 milliamp spectrum 2 cell a spectrum 2 cell charger and it comes with a limited edition 2022 mint 400 coin which is really awesome however one thing i don't like about this truck is that it comes with an slt2 radio it's an slt3 it's only got two channels and it's set up really weird comes with officially licensed black rhino wheels which is really sweet it's supposed to be waterproof and it has led light bars on the front and on the rear so that's really cool plus it has a functional spare tire all right guys well i can't wait any longer i gotta see what this thing looks like so let's crack it open goodness guys this thing looks so so nice in the box you get yourself a spectrum slt2 radio this is what i was talking about it's just got this weird latch down here again it's a two channel instead of a three so you don't have the third channel there it doesn't give you the throttle trim right here anymore luckily it still has the throttle you know limiter and the steering reverse, but there's no throttle reverse. It's like, come on. They've turned a good radio into kind of an okay radio. Hopefully it's still a decent radio. Anyway, we also get the truck, of course, and I gotta say this truck looks really nice, and it's definitely a really good size. You get yourself the Mint 400 coin in here. Instructions, batteries for the remote, you get some spare gearing and servo horn adapters an adapter from ic3 to ic5 some stickers and here is your charger in this little box here oh man this thing is tiny and honestly i doubt it's gonna be amazing but it's incredible how small this thing is you can take this thing in your car and charge it that's really cool here's a better look at that mint 400 coin that is really sick that is awesome guys i really like that and then if we flip the truck over in here we've got our battery compartment if we uh, put that down slide this out here is our 5000 milliamp 2s 50c spectrum smart battery these are actually really cool and i'm glad that this isn't the g2 battery this one includes the regular one so this is really cool, but I wanna see if this thing can really do 45 miles an hour and plus more power is always better, right? So here is a Huvu 5200 milliamp three cell 60C LiFo battery. Oh yeah, guys, that fits in there perfectly. So I know it's got a Traxxas plug on it, but I've got this little adapter here. So if we just plug that on, perfect. And while we're on the underside, you can see it's got the engraving, the Mint 400 engraving on the chassis. They've only made a thousand of these and I got number 264, so that is pretty cool. Oh man, guys, this truck looks so good. Uh, you got the spare tire back here, super realistic. You got yourself a little driver in there and you've even got a co-pilot, I don't know co-driver i guess got your headlights tail lights got an officially licensed ford raptor body on here all the licensing on here big old mint 400 sticker and these tires are actually really nice and soft these are gonna grip quite well and those wheels are looking pretty sweet got some scale cooling fans back here which is cool you can see the shocks back here here we got our big meaty drive shafts metal yokes on them 
but the center uh, shaft is actually plastic. I think these will do just fine. Got some sway bars on here. It's really helpful, especially on these desert trucks. But yeah, you got your solid axle. Uh, you got the trailing arms, two links up top to keep it stable. You got this super scale cool roll cage and it's got a scale gas tank underneath it, which is really cool. And then up front, of course, you've got yourself double wishbone suspension. And again, you've got some sway bars. There it is. And again, the shocks have bump stops on them, which is nice. But you got a pretty decent front bumper here. Not that I plan on smashing up this truck anytime soon. But yeah, guys, this thing looks amazing. I mean, just check this thing out. guys this thing really does look sweet let's get this thing outside and see how well it performs i mean holy smokes suspension feels amazing tires are super plush uh it's a good size it's got sway bars it's brushless i think this thing is going to be awesome looks like the remote wants four double a's which are included with the car all right, radio on. Let's get the car on. Oh yeah, guys. Light bars, front and rear. Steering is plenty fast and nice and torquey too. What about power? Oh my gosh, guys, that wasn't even full throttle. Like, <laughs> that's insane. All right, let's get this thing out in the dirt. Oh, and I almost forgot. I want to protect this nice aluminum chassis um, most of this part. Aluminum, when it scrapes, it rubs off the finish. And uh, this is kind of special. We're just gonna put some duct tape over the chassis and um, that should keep it from scratching it up. All right guys, got it out in the backyard here and oh my goodness. <laughs> That suspension, guys. Oh, it's so soft. Got the duct tape under there to protect my chassis. <laughs> if this is what it's like to drive the UDR, I need to get one. <laughs> oh man, guys, those wheels, those tires balloon, but butt. They're definitely grippy. <laughs> Oh man, these slow-mo shots are going to look great. Alright guys, got the ramp out here. Now for the big question, can you bash it? I'm not going to go too hard on it because I know oh, it's only a semi, it's like a, you know, semi bash or semi realistic kind of rig. So not going to try and go too hard on it. Though. Ooh. Doesn't have a lot of air correction, but I mean, oh, that's really not what this truck is for. This thing looks so good. Ouch. Definitely not a weak truck. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. body that is one thing i really do not want to break is this awesome special edition mint 400 body Ooh, what did i just say <laughs> it's so much fun to drive it's awesome you see that suspension working i mean holy smokes it takes it too i mean you know, I was a 
pretty big jump. Nothing appears to be busted. All seems to be holding up pretty good. Duct tape, keeping my chassis nice and protected. <laughs> Looks like it was hungry. Oh. Yeah, those tires really like to balloon. Back end is dragging. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get it off the street before I ruin it again. All right, guys, got a little bit more room now. Oh, man. <laughs> that suspension just, it feels so nice. The suspension on this thing is just so good. You do need to belt the front tires though. Because they do rub the body when you're at full throttle. <laughs> yeah, see, they just, they rub the, the fenders. Oh man, guys, that suspension. Oh, come on, again? Let's not flip this over anymore. Man, that suspension is just so realistic. It's a quick truck. I definitely think it can do 40, maybe 45 miles an hour. This thing is so awesome guys i love it oh man oh man guys that suspension Oh, that just looks so cool. I need to take it out to, uh, to a construction yard or something. Oh man, guys, I can already tell these slow mo shots are gonna look amazing. <laughs> oh man, this thing is an animal. Oh, well, it's still looking all right. Tough truck. And that suspension, I mean, the way it squats is so awesome. And like, the way it just soaks up every single little bump, it's so realistic. Guys, this thing is awesome. <laughs> Guys, this thing rips. I love it so much. Oh. Guys, this thing rips. This thing is just so awesome. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, let's take this thing inside before we break it. All right, guys. Well, back in the shop here with the Baja Ray Mint 400 edition. And unfortunately, this thing took its fair share of tumbles. I know it's a little bit scratched up. Did blow off. I think it was one of the front tires twice. It took a chunk of this front driver's side uh, fender. But other than that, did great. I'm so glad I put the duct tape under me here. I mean, look at look at this thing. So yeah, definitely something to do if you want to preserve that Mint 400 logo. Everything held up fine. Tons of power on tap. It's super grippy. Everything's awesome on this thing. So yeah, guys, I really do think this is an awesome truck. Suspension is just so, so nice. Kind of bummed that it's on the plastic shock bodies. Um, they put the metal caps on there to throw you off, but they're plastic. Um, but other than that, having the spare tire is nice. These guys in there are probably having the time of their lives. Light bars are great, tons of power. The steering is amazing. The radio, it did all right. It did about the same as the SLT3s do. Uh, it's just lame that they didn't put that extra channel on there. With this mid 400 coin, it came with a two cell battery and a charger. This thing is a steal. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Possibly going to be putting big old ADA system into here. So yeah, if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe. Uh, smash the like button. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one.